Health charts are an essential part of ensuring that your body is growing properly. Heights and weights are recorded in the chart and it shows your percentile compared to other people your age. Dr. Bauer will now show us how to take a height and weight. To take a height, first ask the patient to remove their shoes. Then ask them to stand on the scale facing outward. Next, raise the measuring bar up. Then, making sure not to hit them on the head, flip this out. Then lower it until the bar is resting right in the center of their head. Okay, then ask the patient to step forward so that this falls down. Then where this bar hits is how tall they are. Next, you'll have to write this down on a piece of paper. scale is zeroed. Then ask the patient to step onto the scale facing forward. Next, move the bar to around 100. Make sure it clicks. Then, move the smaller weight over until it's centered again, or zeroed. Then, make sure you add the bottom number to the top number to get your patient's weight. Next, write it down on your paper with the height and record both on your chart. Now I am going to show you the proper way to fill out a growth chart. By using the X and Y axis, you will be able to find your patient's proper BMI. First, you need to go along the X axis to find your patient's age. Next, you will go along the y-axis to find your patient's weight. Then put a dot. Then follow the same age line up to the area where the heights are. Find your patient's height, yeah. and then mark with a dot. Once you've done that, you've completed a growth chart. Now we are going to show you an example of a normal patient's growth chart. As you can see in this example, the marks for height and weight both fall within normal range. Normal range is the lighter area on the chart. Most people, however, do not fall within normal range. Next, we are going to show you an example of an abnormal patient's growth chart. As you can see in this growth chart, the points for both height and weight fall outside of normal range, that being the darker colored area on the chart. This can mean a patient is either overweight or underweight, depending on where the points are plotted on the chart.